I've used a 4K monitor for a year now for both gaming and desktop work. In my opinion, the world still isn't entirely ready for the jump, but it's getting there. I've already covered gaming at 4K in another video, so this one will focus more on desktop applications. Windows. I never had that many problems with Windows 7, but Windows 10 itself works perfectly well with 4K. You'll want to use its scaling feature though. If you keep everything at 100% size, it's painful to use, even if you have good eyesight. Onlookers think I'm joking about when I'm not using scaling, and I usually am. At 200% scaling, it's like a much clearer version of 1080p where everything's got a lot more clarity. I guess most will choose something like 150%, which is a good compromise. It's slightly annoying to have to sign out of Windows every time you want to change this, and it resets the position of everything on my desktop. But hey, annoyingly, the desktop backgrounds by default are only HD. There is a 4K version of this original desktop, but it's hidden away in a strange folder for some reason. But all in all, the operating system is ready for 4K, although the text and unrecognised file types look far too similar for my liking. Desktop applications. This is the most problematic area. It's different for every program. They all work if you have scaling set to 100%, but then they're painfully small to use. With scaling, for the most part they're still usable, but some bits of them scale better than others. Take Sony Vegas, for example. Some options are unavailable because they're hidden off the side of a fixed size box. Some text is too big for the box that it's in, making it a bit difficult to read. You have to be super precise with your mouse when editing in this mode too, since the edges of items remain the same number of pixels across as HD mode, making it hard to catch the edges of clips and stuff. And some programs that were never a problem at HD lag in 4K. Excel's graphs are now slow to update. There's a delay when adding text in Sony Vegas. It's noticeable enough to notice, even when using an i7 processor. In short, it's nice to have more screen space, but not so nice to have the bugs that go with it. Just as an example since I have it open, HLSW also struggles with scaling. The text does, but the boxes don't, which leads to everything being pretty damn unusable. Steam and Fruity Loop Studios remains the same to look at and to use, only stretch with scaling to make it slightly blurrier. Microsoft's Windows applications like Word and Excel work brilliantly, though making the charts take up the whole screen can make the program unresponsive, so be careful. In my opinion, the biggest plus of 4K is text clarity. It makes such a difference whether you're typing up a script in Word or are browsing the internet, and it's something that easily scales to 4K. It's such a jump up that everything looks like it's in a different font. Your brain's pretty good at disguising that weird coloured blur at HD, but moving to the real 4K deal is a treat. But I don't think that anybody's going to be upgrading to 4K just for clearer text, though I could be wrong. Internet. When using the internet, text looks beautiful, but images are a mixed bag. Sites like Facebook and most news sites are designed with HD in mind, and images on these sites look hilariously JPEGed or pixelated to the point where you can't believe that you never saw it when using a standard monitor. YouTube and Reddit are ready though, with crisp, clear preview images. That being said, no matter how clear small preview images look, you'll still want to have them take up a sizeable amount of your screen for comfort when viewing them. Size still matters more than quality when browsing dank memes. Each site supports 4K to a different extent. What's YouTube's 4K option like? It's a mixed bag. Most of the benefits of 4K mode can be appreciated even on a non-4K screen, since the up bitrate means that surfaces can display more details that would otherwise look like a blurry mess, regardless of resolution. The only additional benefit of actually viewing it on a 4K screen is that the high contrast edges look a lot clearer, rather than a fuzzy outline that everything at HD seems to have. But you'll only actually notice that when you're used to 4K. Return to gaming. Using anything other than default 4K resolution is kind of pointless for most things because it makes everything a lot worse than you'd expect. For example, 2K on a 4K monitor looks far blurrier and blockier than 2K on a 2K screen, even if in theory it's the same thing. Because of this, if I can't handle full 4K, I usually sacrifice resolution completely, dropping down to 1920x1080 and opting for higher FPS and detail settings instead. But when I can run 4K, it looks great. Higher resolutions benefit games that focus on quantity more than quality in my opinion. This includes tactical ones like Total War, or immersive games with beautiful, expansive environments like GTA V and Skyrim. For these I use my special setup, where I bring the monitor right up to my face with the keyboard behind it. You have to be close up to the screen to really appreciate the increased resolution, plus it gives games a super cool surround effect. Kind of like VR on a budget and in 2D. In conclusion, for most people I still think that a 2560x1440 high refresh rate screen is a better choice, but if you don't mind regularly switching resolutions and scaling settings, buying 4K will reward you with one of the most flexible and future-proof devices around. I can use my 4K screen as a standard Full HD monitor, or I can get a little more screen space by upping to 2560x1440, or when Windows software lets me, I can move to full 4K and reap the image quality benefits it offers me. 
Once the rest of the world is caught up, I really believe that 4K is a big enough leap to become the next big standard while still not being too difficult to run. I don't see 8K being feasible anytime soon, and I predict that 5K will become the new pretentious standard that people will go out of their way to use just to feel slightly superior to everybody else. But the joke's on them, because I'm only going to make my videos in 4K.